Hey Star Wars Action Fair Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have something new. So um I actually had a really good weekend and in, in finding some great Star Wars stuff. So um this is one of the few things I got. I got it at Kmart. So I hadn't been at Kmart in a very long time. And I went to one in my area and was able to pick this up. So this is of course is the Ewok Scouts Kmart exclusive Return of the Jedi special action figure. Vintage Collection Set. So let's take a quick look at the packaging, which I love. I love this packaging. I love the size. And of course, it's got the old school retro look. It's fantastic. Really, really like it. So here we see the the two Ewoks. Okay. Wooka and uh, Whittle. Wonka and Whittle. So... Of course, we see these two little guys taking over the ATST and Return of the Jedi. So, just a very nice packaging. I mean, I'm going to be keeping this. I usually throw out my packaging, but this one I just I really, really like. There's a little uh, synopsis there. That same picture of the front. The other set, which was there, but I'm not interested in. Um, they look really cool, and the ATST. Camera exclusive looks great. So, got this actually for $13. I was on sale, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, now on to the figures. So let's start off with, uh, whoops. Start with Whittle. This axe came off, but uh, it comes with this axe, which I really like. It's got some good paint applications. You can see the, the thread. That was used to whittle uh, the to wrap the rock around it. This is a new piece, never seen before. Okay, and um, most of the parts used for both of the Ewoks are um, reused from previous uh, Ewok action figures. Um, the cowl is brand new, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you know, pretty much the parts are reused, repainted, and whatnot. So, but just overall, they look fantastic. Really like the head sculpt on this guy. You can see his teeth, his eyes have a white pupil. It just looks fantastic. And the cow looks great. It's got some weathering. Um, the shading there provides that kind of weathered look. Tassels aren't really, you know, you can kind of see that the paint didn't really do a good, they didn't really good job, do a good job on these tassels, but still looks great nonetheless. Just the mold of the cowl is fantastic. Body itself looks good. You can see the fur there, some shading on there. Looks really nice. Um, these are only, the only other wick, um, Ewok I have is Logray, so to get these two guys, it's nice to add some more Ewoks to my collection. would like to get Wicket, the new Moomat, and that five pack from Target that was just released. Just to kind of, you know, grow that little side collection. So, it looks really good. I really like the paint taps on the toes and the hands, just to distinguish it. Okay. Um... Articulation is a ball jointed head, so the cowl is removable, so you can. It's got the little openings for the eels, ears. Um, ball, ball hinge shoulders, and he swivels here at the wrist, so no articulation on the um, elbows, which is fine. Uh, you got a swivel waist, swivel hips, and ball hinged uh, ankles, so no knee articulation. So, But, you know, not a big deal. I mean, these guys are tiny, so it doesn't really... Um, bother me that much that they don't have that much articulation so there's Whittle Whittle Warwick, Warwick. Uh, probably my favorite of the two is Wonka and Wonka comes with this uh, staff there's a name for it which I can't pronounce <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce but I uh, really like it, it's a nice little piece Molded very well. This is also new. Okay. So it looks really nice. I like the color. Um, 
One got has a brand new head sculpt. So this the, the head sculpt is brand spanking new. The rest is reused, and of course the Kel's new. So I really like his face. Just looks so funny with the big teeth and you know the big black eyes. Looks awesome. Really like the cowl too. Like the color. Um, it's got this little headpiece on top, which is sculpted very nicely. You know, not a lot of shading on this cowl, but it still looks great nonetheless. Especially here, the mold right here in the back just looks great. And the rest of them is pretty much black. Um, then you got the same paint apps on the toes and on the fingers to kind of distinguish him. But he looks really cool. Definitely my favorite of the two. And articulation is the same. You've got the ball jointed head, uh, ball hinged shoulders, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, and ball hinged ankles. So, cool little guy. These guys are really cool, and I'm glad I got them for the price that I did because they tend to go for about, I think it's 25 to 30 online right now on eBay. Not sure how much they go on Amazon, but uh, great little guys. Very happy to pick both of them up at my Kmart. Very nice. They actually had a few of these packs, so, um, you know, next time I know, next time Kmart has an exclusive, head over there. So, highly recommended. I mean, if there's a Kmart nearby, Definitely pick them up. Um, I don't think they're worth $25 because of their size. They're just so tiny. But they're awesome little Ewoks. And I'm hoping to, to like I said, get some more and, and continue to grow that collection. All right, you guys. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this review. And until next time, may the Force be with you.